a judge shuts down a very arrogant defendant, in my opinion, um, it's flawless. Here it is. What's your name? Chloe Whitsitt. Okay. And you're intending upon representing yourself in this matter? At this time, yes, Your Honor, I am. I am dismissing the court appointed attorney at this time, yes. Okay. What's going on? Um, uh, until my family and I decide what law firm uh, we are going to choose, I will be representing myself. Okay. All right. So you need time to seek a no, no, I, attorney? Well, not really, but I, I have a request at this time as I am representing myself. Well, not until such time as I relieve Mr. Drukas. Okay, and thank that's you. What I'm trying, I have not done so. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out what the issue is and what you're intending upon doing. Dismissing the court appointed attorney and representing myself. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. At this time, I can't make it any clearer and I, I don't no, understand. You're not making it very clear to me at all. Okay. I'm, not listening. I'm confused. Just talking. Okay, the judge is actually being decent. There is a protocol that has to be established when you dismiss an attorney. He's going through the process of making sure she can establish this policy and protocol. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Here's what happened next. Are you going to hire an attorney? Yes. Or are you going to represent yourself? Today, Your Honor, I'm going to represent myself. If my request is denied by you, then I will be hiring an attorney. I can't make it any clearer than that. So you're going to, so if I relieve Mr. Drukas, you're going to represent yourself. Yes, sir. So if they set it for a preliminary examination, you're ready to go? This is a, I, I'm, I'm representing myself today. I don't know what all happens today, but I'm talking to the judge without the court appointed attorney. No, man. Okay, well, I don't. You don't listen. You don't just, don't you dare just lean on my podium and pretend like that. Not here. Oh, it actually gets worse. Here it is. <laughs> Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pass the matter because if you come back up and start banging your manuals on that podium, you're going to be going with Mr. Allen. You may have a seat. Don't shake your head at me. Oh, 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 oh. Mr. Allen, might want to have a conversation with her and tell her that she better check herself before she comes back up here. Earlier, I did have an opportunity to speak with her during that break. Um, and go over the process of where we are, what's going on right now. She did tell me that she would like to obtain a new attorney. Um, so in the meantime, I can assist her with getting a copy of the discovery, getting a copy of some of the videos, which I don't have yet. Um, I was going to be asking for an adjournment today to obtain those. Um, so ultimately, I'd be asking for at least a two-week adjournment. Okay, I have another video, but let me put the picture up for a second before I go back to the video and give you the conclusion of this. Now, this is Judge J. Cedric Mother Simpson. That's a, <laughs> that's a street man, okay? He's a reformed individual. He's been there, done that. He tries to be respectful to everybody in the courtroom uh, until things get disrespectful toward him. Now, the individual, this is in Michigan, Chloe Whitsett of Ann Arbor. All right, 59 years of age. Here's how things ended. Is all of that correct, Ms. Witzer? Um, Your Honor, I would like to apologize. I had complete zero understanding, uh, but yes, that is correct. Ms. Witzer, let me tell you something. I should have locked you up. You're lucky that I just took a deep breath and said, I'm not gonna, I don't know what's going on. I'm just asking her questions. And you come in here, I don't think we've ever seen each other. And you, you just come in here disrespecting me in this court. That man standing beside you right now, it's the only thing that saved you from going to jail. I had pretty much made up my mind. 
that when I came back out here because of what you had done, you were gone. So while you may not want him representing you, he just saved you. Let's remember one other thing. Funny thing about judges, we have exceedingly long memories. You come in here acting like that on the next day, I'm not even going to ask any questions. You are just going to go. Are we clear? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, well, it ended well. Um, it's called a contempt order, all right? So when you violate the decorum of the courtroom, uh, judges are able to allocate contempt charges. They do it to attorneys quite often. An attorney has to go and they'll sit in the cell for about 12 to 25 hours to think about how they disrespect the judge. Um, I just hope at some point a judge does it to Donald Trump, but that's a side note. Put up the picture again, full mass. Uh, at the end of the back and forth, her misunderstanding, her lack of knowledge of the protocol was at least understood by the appointed counsel that she obviously did not appreciate nor want. <laughs> he came up and he explained it quite well, understood the process. And at the end of that, the judge received an apology. Nobody went to jail. And I think lessons were in fact learned. Good stuff. All right. Wozny, uh, you know, I mean, he, <laughs> this is an older black male, man. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that's his courtroom. Like that, yeah. he's the judge. Also, you notice when people have their ducks in a row, they're not fumbling. They're not yeah. having to repeat themselves. They're not, they're confident. It's like, okay, according to X, Y, and Z rule, I'm going to do this. And then after this, I'm going to do that. This lady for whatever reason, clearly had an issue with her lawyer. She thought she could just walk up in there and do something. It's like, oh, yeah, if you don't let me represent. But first, no, I'm going to replace them. But like, it, it, it was obvious she was doing something that didn't make any sense. And the judge was, like, politely trying to nudge her in that direction. But, yep. you know, too much attitude, too much dip on a chip. And, right. and she had to be reminded that she needed to take some of that dip off. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and be thankful for that damn court-appointed attorney because he obviously yes, knew exactly what he was requesting. 